is a gift from God. What we do with this life is our gift to God. Ang buhay na meron tayo, ang buhay na tinatamasa natin ngayon ay regalo natin mula sa ating Panginoon. Ano man ang gawin natin sa buhay na ito, ito naman ang ating regalo sa ating Panginoon. Amen. Let us all stand and let us offer our petitions for the eternal repose of our brother Jose. Dear brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father where He intercedes for His church, confident that God hears the voices of those who trust the Lord Jesus. We join our prayers to His as we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. now and lead him over the waters of death. In your mercy, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Our brother, Jose Velasco, was nourished at the table of the Savior. Welcome him into the halls of the heavenly banquet. We ask you, Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Many friends and members of our families have gone before us and await the kingdom. Grant them an everlasting home with your son. We ask you, Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Many people die by violence, war, and famine each day. Show your mercy to those who suffer so unjustly these sins against your love and gather them to the eternal kingdom of peace. We ask you, Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. The family and friends of Jose Roni Velasco seek comfort and consolation. Heal their pain and dispel the darkness and doubt that come from grief. We ask you, Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray, Lord God, giver of peace and healer of souls, hear the prayers of the Redeemer Jesus Christ and the voices of your people whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ and grant them a place in the kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Please be seated for the liturgy of the Eucharist. Sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we come to present you the sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant, who said, we beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your son to be a loving Savior may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. 
Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, eternal God. In Him the hope of blessed resurrection is gone. That those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with all the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. May call in their forties gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery we celebrate. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer the Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to the child of his mercy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of this body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Eupoldo, our military and PNP bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Jose, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry.
through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. ask our loving Father to forgive us our sins and to bring us to forgive those who sin against us. from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ Lord Jesus Christ said to apostles peace I give you my peace I give you look not in our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Jesus Christ, our Lord, who suffered, died, and rose from the dead in order to bring us life eternal. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us all to eternal life.
Please be seated. Please stand. Let us pray. Lord God, the Son left us in the sacrament of His body, food for the journey. Mercifully grant that, strengthened by it, our brother Jose may come to the table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Inaanyayahan ko po ang mga malalapit na kamag-anak ng ating kapatid na si Jose na lumapit po tayo sa kanya para po sa isang panalangin. Hinihilig ko rin po sa mga kaibigan at mga kamag-anak na naririto na manatili po tayong nakatayo at samahan po natin ang kanyang pamilya sa isang panalangin at pagbabasmas. Sir, the Resurrect of Lord Jesus Christ is said, I am the resurrection and the life who never believes in me shall live with the death and whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. For every prayer that our response be, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have You raise the dead to life, give to our brother eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. You promise paradise to the repentant thief, being who said to the joys of heaven, let us pray to the Lord. Who said was nourished with your body and blood, grant him a place at the table in your heavenly kingdom, let us pray to the Lord. Comfort us in our sorrow at the death of Hussein, that our faith be a consolation and eternal life, our hope and spirit to you. Let us also pray for ourselves when our pilgrimage to life. Lord, keep us faithful in your service and spirit to you. Let us pray, God of holiness and power, and set our fear on behalf of your servant who said, Do not count his deeds against him, for it is hard to desire to do your will. As his faith united him to your people on earth, so may your mercy join him to the angels in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven. <coughs> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need our lives. Eternal rest grant unto the said Lord. May he rest in peace. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. The Lord be with you. The Almighty God bless you and your loved ones, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The last is ended, then is so the peace of the recent Christ. Thanks be to was born on August 7, 1915. He entered and graduated the Philippine Military Academy of BMA Divalupi Class 1981. Police Superintendent Velasco was a brilliant officer and a gentleman. He attended various schoolings and gained knowledge and skills in administration, intelligence, and operations. He was a trusted man to handle various positions in the following assignments. In the National Capital Region Police Office, Regional Headquarters. 
Police Regional Office State Regional Headquarters, NCRPO Southern Police District, NCRPO Manila Police District, and the PHAO of the Headquarters Support Service. He earned various awards and decorations because of his exemplary performance to the various positions he handled during his steam in the PNP organization, and to mention a few are the Medallion ng Kasanayan, Medallion ng Papul, and the PNP Badge of Honor. Police Superintendent Velasco is married to Mrs. Josefina Velasco, and they were blessed with two children, namely Miss Joyce Ann Velasco and Mr. John Renoir Velasco. And he joined our Creator on July 6, 2014, at the age of 55. Ladies and gentlemen, truly, Police Superintendent Velasco really deserved to be given an honor like this as a tribute to the successful accomplishments he earned not only for himself, not only to the Philippine National Police, but for the country as well. Class Dimalupig 1981, Police Director Manuel Barzena will now give his eulogy. Sir. Good evening to everyone. Police Superintendent. Jose Roni Viray Velasco was like a brother to me. We became close to each other by force of circumstances way back in the Philippine Military Academy in the year 1976. We were former members of PME Class 80. We were buddies and naturally we shared all the hardships and challenges of Glebhold being fourth class cadet. I can still remember and no amount of alcohol and years behind can erase from my memory that funny yet embarrassing incident. With toothpaste on our lips, an upper class man with the use of force, threat and intimidation ordered us to kiss, to kiss each other, 
lips to lips with feelings. We were each other's first kiss. No official na kami nagbiro si Ronnie that he enjoyed the kiss. <laughs> there was a time when we thought of going on a walk just to relax for two to three days in Baguio City, watch movies, and suffer the consequences of the words. But common sense dictated otherwise. We survived livelihood and became yearlings until fate made us turn backs, repeaters, and joined the PMA, the Malupi class of 1981. I was suspended when we were third class men, and he joined me later when he was about to graduate. Maybe Ronnie missed me so much that he followed me in joining PMA class 81, the best class of all times. <laughs> Upon graduation, we were both assigned with the 1st Infantry Division Philippine Army based in Polo, Sulu. After our orientation, we parted ways and Roni joined the 10th Infantry Battalion based in Polo, Sulu, while I was assigned with the 5th Infantry Battalion in Basilan Province. After two years, I went back to Manila and was assigned with the Narcotics Command, Narco, while Ronnie stayed in Mindanao as the finance officer of his battalion. Later, he also joined the Narcotics Command, but unfortunately, I was already with the PNP Local Command. We found ourselves together once again under the Philippine National Police wherein we occasionally meet and share tales about ourselves and our own families. Sadness struck me when I learned that Ronnie was at the hospital in Makati and needed to be transferred to the Philippine General Hospital for a liver operation. I tried to help, but eventually passed away. Last month, June 16, 2014, Ronnie visited me in my office. As usual, it was a pleasant encounter with him. He informed me that he will be retiring and will stay at his hometown in Bimalay, Pangasinan. I asked him to stay in Manila and help me with my upcoming project. He agreed and promised me that he would come back and visit me again. I did not know that it would be our last meeting. I wondered why he did not contact me again until I found out from his brother, Gary, about his illness. Ronnie was a very secretive man. I did not even have an idea that he was what he was enduring. We will surely miss Jose Ronnie Veray Velasco. He was kind-hearted and honest person, but a real fighter and a very tough officer. He was a loving father to his family, a loving husband a loving brother, and a loving son. Ronnie, stop. Thank you for being such a great friend and a buddy. I will never forget you. Ronnie has touched our lives in more ways than one. We live, he lived an honorable and fruitful life. Although he's joining our Almighty Father was sudden. He did not leave us unprepared. The knowledge, wisdom, and memories he shared with us will live on forever.
Helen is here, the daughter of Police Superintendent Velasco, Miss Joyce Ann Velasco, ma'am. Good evening, Paul. Uh, I would just like to thank everyone, especially our relatives, friends ni Daddy, and yung mga mistapo ni Daddy. Thank you for the prayers. Thank you for the support. Thank you, Paul, for the help, especially in times of peace needs. Thank you, Paul. Daddy, we're really proud of you. We love you so much. We will miss you. Hindi ka namin makakalimutan, Daddy. Thank you for everything. We love Paul. Thank you. in charge of the Philippine National Police and also a member of PMA Class 981, Police Deputy Director General Felipe Rojas Jr. will now give his eulogy. Thank you and good evening. In behalf of our Chief PNP, Police Director General Alan Lamadrid Purisima, and members of PMA Jimalupi Class 81, I'd like to extend my deepest sympathy to the wife, children, brother, and family and relatives of Ronnie in this unfortunate incident. The Chief PMP would have wanted to join us tonight, but right now is an official mission abroad, so he sent me over to read this speech. And he says to go how I wish that we all gathered here tonight for some reason other than to pay our last respect to a departed brother. It is really very unfortunate that we are mourning the loss of a good son, a loving husband and father, and a very fine officer. On behalf of the officers of Pime de Malopic family, men and women of the Philippine National Police and of a grateful Philippine nation, I would like to express my deepest condolences to the bereaved family of the late police superintendent, Jose Roino Roni Virai Velasco. At a such a young age, his passing is indeed a great loss. He was raised as a good-natured son, and I suppose that even when he was still a kid, he already possessed that natural talent to think and act quickly to get the job done on time and with style and always win, win friends along the way because that was how we have known him to be. His untimely demise means a lot to us in the Philippine National Police for his fellow cavaliers, and more so for me as the father of the organization. As a police officer, he was a shining example of what a public servant should be. Competent, courageous, brave, and dedicated, yet understanding and compassionate 
to those who need a helping hand. The strength of character, immeasurable integrity, technical expertise, and commitment to his foreign duty helped him rise to the occasion every time a trial was presented before him. However, we need not shed a tear for his passing. Instead, we should be proud that we have known Ronnie during his memorable stay with us. That alone is already a source of pride for us who were left behind. For all of us in the uniform service, passing on to the great beyond is a high probability. Upon the day we joined the service, it has always been that way, and Ronnie was no exception. He had started a death during his tour of duty in the field while serving and protecting strangers whom he never even knew. As we pay our respects to Ronnie, let me quote these familiar lines from the PMA hymn that was somehow prepared for Ronnie for this day. When bells for us are rung and our last stops is sung, let generations see our country feet. Tonight, we ring bells and sing the last stops for Ronnie. He was a good man, and good men never forgotten, unquote. In my personal capacity, I knew Ronnie was a good guy. In fact, when I was provincial director of Laguna, he went and came over to visit me. And Santa Cruz, Laguna was about an hour drive, hour and a half drive from Manila. O basta pumunta lang siya doon, nagkape. Tinatanong ko, Bob, anong may paglikod natin? Sabi niya, wala lang, kwentuhan lang tayo. Could you imagine traveling for one and a half hour just to talk with me? That was how Ronnie was. He was a friend and a loyal classmate. Magandang gabi sa inyo tayo. Some, he might have hurt the feelings of others. 
To the family of Police Superintendent Jose Ronnie Piray Velasco, ma'am, sir, our condolences. And in a few moments, the St. Peter's Chapel will also present a tribute to Police Superintendent Velasco in an audio visual presentation. Thank you very much and good evening to everybody. <laughs> 